Do you know how to be a good electric vehicle owner? Well, up next I'll run down the do's and don'ts of charging etiquette, rules you should follow. Welcome to another episode of EV Basics. Charging electric vehicles is a different experience than fueling up a conventional car or truck, and a lot of drivers are new to all of it. To help you avoid any faux pas, here are 10 simple do's and don'ts to make sure everyone has a good charging experience. Tip number one, do use the appropriate charging speed for your vehicle. If you drive, say, a Chevy Bolt that DC fast charges at a maximum of around 55 kilowatts, there's absolutely no reason to plug into a 350 kilowatt charger. Your car's battery will not juice up any quicker, and you will piss off any Hummer EV or Hyundai eGMP drivers that need to DC fast charge. So know what your vehicle is capable of and use the appropriate hardware. Next up, don't DC fast charge to 100% unless you absolutely have to. There are situations where this might be necessary, but they're pretty rare in everyday use. Most EVs charge the quickest from 10 to 80%, and beyond this range, the speed plummets, meaning that getting the last 20% can take longer than the previous 70. Look at the Hyundai Ioniq 5, for instance. In our testing, it DC fast charged from 10 to 80% in a lickety split 18 minutes, exactly like the manufacturer says. But going from 80 to 100% required 32 additional minutes. So be courteous and avoid hogging a charger if you don't need to, even though that's exactly what we do while testing, so don't be like us. Tip number three, do move your vehicle as quickly as reasonably possible when finished charging so you're not blocking other drivers. Few things are more frustrating than waiting to re-energize your EV and there's another vehicle in the way, one that's done charging. Now operators disincentivize this outlet obstructing by charging users idle fees when they're plugged in and not juicing up, but still, be courteous and vacate the stall as soon as you reasonably can. Also, don't unplug other EVs. Just like you should have been taught as a child, keep your hands to yourself and don't touch other people's stuff. Now, it doesn't matter if a vehicle is at 97% or even if charging is complete. Be kind and don't interrupt another person's session, even if they need to learn about points two and three in this video. When you're done charging, do put the cable back where it belongs. Connectors oftentimes click into a holster on the power dispenser's cabinet, and doing this keeps the plug end and much of the cable up off the ground where these parts are less likely to get dirty or damaged. Please don't lazily dump the cable onto the asphalt where the next person could run it over because that is not good for anyone. Now it is worth noting, however, that sometimes Tesla owners do leave supercharger cables unhooked if the station doesn't work, and this is a way of signaling the problem to other drivers. But you know something? Wireless charging from Wytricity, the sponsor of this video, means you never have to wrestle with connectors or cables again. This makes the electric vehicle ownership experience simpler and far more convenient. You just park and your EV starts charging automatically. But that's not all. This system is also safer than plugging in, and it's just as efficient as level two charging with a cable. You're going to want Wytricity wireless charging in your next EV, so for more information, scan the on-screen QR code or follow the link in the description box below. Of course, we thank Wytricity for their support of EV Basics. Alrighty, tip number six, don't public charge unless you need to. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're driving to the grocery store, then Heading home after shopping and your battery's at like 95%, maybe don't take up a DC fast charger that another driver might need. The US public charging infrastructure is still a regrettably finite resource, so if you've got plenty of range and you're just heading home, think of other motorists that might need to charge more than you do. Next, do unhitch your trailer while charging. Yes, this can be a major pain, but unless the parking lot where the chargers are located is massive or otherwise empty, it's courteous to disconnect your trailer while charging so you don't block traffic or access to other chargers. Again, 
try to be a good human being. I know that's hard sometimes. Along the same line, don't use a non-Tesla charger if you drive a Muskmobile. Tesla owners, you already have access to what is hands down the best charging network in the US. Tesla superchargers are plentiful, reliable, and incredibly convenient. So please don't feel the need to power up at an EVgo charge point or electrify America station unless you absolutely have to. Try to save those brand agnostic options for other EV drivers, and I can assure you they will thank you. Tip number nine, do exercise common courtesy. When charging, park neatly between the lines so you don't block access for others. Avoid cranking your music to obnoxious levels while chilling and charging, and definitely don't leave any garbage behind in the parking lot. A little thoughtfulness goes a long way toward making the EV experience a positive one for all drivers. And finally, if you can help it, don't use the same charger as another driver. Of course, this is not always possible, so use your judgment, but avoid plugging into the same charging cabinet as someone else. Many chargers are load balanced, meaning they share a certain amount of power. So if you start pulling electricity from the same cabinet, you could significantly reduce the other driver's charging speed. And again, this is not always possible, but use a separate charger if you can. And there you have it, 10 do's and don'ts of charging etiquette. To recap, do use an appropriate charger for your vehicle. Don't DC fast charge to 100% unless you need to. Do move your vehicle as quickly as reasonably possible when finished charging. Don't unplug other EVs. Do put the charging cable back where it belongs. Don't public charge unless you need to. Do unhitch your trailer while charging. Don't use a non-Tesla charger if you drive a Muskmobile. Do exercise common courtesy, something that applies to a lot more than just EV charging. And lastly, if you can help it, don't use the same charger as another driver. Thanks so much, and please try to follow these rules so everyone can have a positive EV charging experience. Next up, watch our EV Basics video all about the differences between hybrids, plug-ins, and pure electric vehicles. These terms can be confusing, but we demystify them all, so click over here to check that feature out right now.